Well, hi guys, um, welcome to another um, episode or another experiment and today we're doing the Dirty Penny Experiment. My name is Professor Anne, this is Professor Raquel, um, so we hope that you have lots of fun with this one. Professor Raquel is just going to go through some safety details first and then I shall explain exactly what equipment you need for this experiment. So over to safety. Yep. So they're very important to health and safety. Um, part of the health and safety, I would say adult assistance and supervision is required. Uh, be careful because we are using three sorts of liquids. Uh, no, sorry, five sorts of liquids. Uh, so be careful of slips, trips and falls. Yeah, especially on slippery surfaces. Uh, be beware, liquids could dye clothes or stain clothes because we're using stuff like vinegar. Uh, lemon juice, baking soda, stuff like that. And especially with some of these, be careful not to eat or drink any of them. So so that is a must. Do not drink or eat any of them. Because this is just an experiment. So equipment wise, I'm going to pass you over to the lovely Anagad. Right guys, so quite easy this one. So first of all, you will need a blank notebook or piece of paper because you actually need to write down the effects that this has and obviously a pen or a pencil. Um, you'll also need some bowls or glass jars um, or plastic cups we're using the glass jars. Um, some masking tape, something you can stick on to label which liquid you've put in which jars. Um, you will also need, so we've got five of these, so we've got one jar it's got vegetable oil, so you need one jar, one penny, a dirty penny. Make sure that these are dirty because you're going to see what the effect they have on them. And vegetable oil. So one jar with a dirty penny and vegetable oil. Second jar with lemon juice in. Another dirty penny and the lemon juice that you can get from various shops and supermarkets. Third one, which is bicarbonate of soda. Um, just comes in a like that and another dirty penny to go in that one. Third one, washing up liquid, another jar, just your ordinary washing up liquids that you use to um to hand wash your just dishes with. And last but not least, vinegar again. So vinegar, another jar, and obviously another dirty penny. So that's the equipment that you need. So over to you. Yep. So what what we're going to need? This is another a twenty four hour one, unless you want to leave it longer, because it's about recording which liquid has has the best effect in, with cleaning the penny. So I'm going to talk Anne, uh, my trusty assistant, through the steps. So step one is using our oil, vegetable oil, is put the penny in and we're going to cover that in vegetable oil. And with all these we're going to put them to one side so they don't get spilled, so put them in the same space, but also if they do smell a bit, uh, try to cover them over with something or put them out the way where they aren't going to cause much odour. So the next one is uh, our lime juice or lemon juice and okay. um, we're going to cover that again just in our lime or lemon juice it doesn't matter which one you use yep that should be enough there we go and i'll just turn the camera so we can see what i'm doing uh, so i apologize for that the next one is bicarbonate of soda so we'll pop that on there and we we'll sprinkle it with bicarbonate of soda and what I would say is we don't know how this is going to work so we're going to try it with a slight bit of water in so I'm just going to just put a, a slight bit of water in but if you want you could also try it without the water and see if anything does happen the next one is we're using washing up liquid. So we're putting the penny in and just covering it in washing up liquid. Okay. 
You can wash your pots after you've done this for your mum and dad. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> and our very last experiment is our penny in the jar and we're covering it in a bit of vinegar. Now you can use white vinegar, distilled vinegar or vinegar which you use on your fish and chips. It's uh, completely your choice. And then what we do, like it says, we leave this submerged our dirty pennies in each of these bowls for 24 hours and so while that's happening what I want you to do is try to work out which uh, liquid is going to have the best effect at cleaning the coin so we will join you when 24 hours has passed so, till then, take care. Take care, stay safe. Bye for now. Right. Hello and welcome back, folks. Uh, this is the dirty penny experiment continued. So, we've got five pennies in five glass jars in different liquids. So, now is the part, if you've tried to guess what which is going to be the best cleaning liquid for each penny so i'm going to pass you over now to the lovely Anne to do the experiment hi guys well um it did say at the beginning that maybe you've written a journal um and written which penny is in which solution so you might want to get your journal ready and we can write down if there's been any change which is the cleanest so this one is the the vinegar. Yep. So this one's been in vinegar. Yep. So, but with each one of these, what we need to do is is take the penny out and give them a, a quick a quick scrub with uh, either a scrubber or a, my scrubber. or a cloth and a bowl with some water in. And then put them just outside the jar at the front, so we don't get them mixed up with whatever liquid they've been in. Uh, and see which one has worked the best. So remember, if you remember at the beginning, these were really quite dirty. Hmm? Too bad. Hmm. So that's that one. Hmm. <laughs> that's not too bad. So that was the vinegar ah. one. Next is the washing up liquid one. Bit slippery. Right. Bit of fairy liquid. Give it a rub. No, oh, that's not too bad either. Mm. That's shiny that one. Next one, just be careful with this one that it doesn't slip out of your hand because it's this is the vegetable oil one. So, but also remember while I'm doing this part is since we are using liquids, uh, just make sure uh, if we do spill anything on the floor uh, to wipe it up, and also with some of these li liquids uh, or materials we're using is some are non-edible so don't even try to take uh, eat some of them uh, such as the carbonate of soda the raw one or washing up liquid washing up liquid no, unless you want a frothy mouth which yeah. won't be a good look uh, so yeah so uh, how's that one turned out don't think it's as quite as Shiny is the other one. Hmm. Not really, I didn't. Not that, really. Didn't no, that's that one, that's that one, that's that one. Uh, the next one we're using is bicarbonate of soda, uh, mixed in with a bit of water. So I'm just trying to dig it out. Make sure you wear protective clothing as well, because uh, we've got a lot of oil here and things that might stain. Oh, 
looking at? Uh, No, it's still pretty dirty, this one. I thought that one looked quite shiny, but it's not. So it's... That one's brought a little bit off. But not fully. No, yeah, it's not really. Yeah, so if you can see, mm. that one's still quite dirty around the edges. Mm. On the last one, which is our lime juice. Right, so Professor Raquel's just giving them a bit of a wipe. <coughs> Let's see. Mm. I'm on that one. So, so yeah, I'm just going to turn my camera around so you, so you can see them. So as you as you can see with each one so the first one is our lime juice I dare say it's cleaned it the best but it needs polishing for shininess um, that may be due to acids within it our second one which is bicarbonate of soda uh, it's had a slight impact but very little change our next one is washing up liquid. Um, I dare say it shined it slightly, but very little change on it. Uh, with the greening at the back of it. The washing up liquid, that has worked really quite well, actually. Just needs a bit of a buff up. But really worked quite well. Because so it's uh, really nice and shiny, that one. And our last one, which is uh, vinegar, that's worked really well. Just needs a bit of a shine. So yeah. So now I'm going to pass you over uh, to Anne again, just to do the explanation or the science behind this. Right. So the science behind this is pennies turn dull and green due to oxidation. Over time, these pennies form a layer of copper oxide on the surface of the penny, which actually protects it from further corruption. After quite some time, or after exposure to an acid, pennies will form copper sulphate, carbonate and chloride salts, which give pennies a green colour. Washing the pennies in a vinegar and salt solution removes the patina from the pennies, exposing the brighter copper underneath once more. So the vinegar actually did work quite well on that one. There, a lot shinier. So yes, so until next time, where we shall be doing another experiment for you, for you to have a go at. Take care. Take care. Bye for now. You can go and spend a penny now. Bye. Go. Right, guys. Well, um, I hope you enjoyed that experiment. So this, um, as always, is the science behind the experiment. So the water and oil do not mix. And the oil doesn't change colour because the food colouring is water soluble. The alka seltzer reacts with the water to make the bubbles of carbon dioxide. The bubbles attach themselves to the blobs of coloured water and brings them to the top of the glass. When the bubbles pop, the blobs of coloured water fall back to the bottom of the glass. So that is the end of the experiment yep. and the end of the science behind it. Yep. But as we've shown you folks, you don't just have to use uh, alka seltzers. Uh, you can use uh, bicarbonate of soda, which we tried first off. Uh, and you can try, just in as a little extra, uh, different amounts of oil compared to water and vice versa. So, till next week, take care and hope you're enjoying it. Bye. Bye. For now. Bye. Well done.